Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show wrap-up. It is your WWE Raw Therapy session here. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter uh, here on this Monday evening. We are back. The This is the first live podcast. Well, I guess we've done some Indie Mayhem shows. Live-ish, the first-ish live podcast of 2019 we have with us. We got a crew with us. First of all, we have from New Digs, a lot of new new for, for 2019. First of all, from Beacon, New York, is Mad Mike. Hashtag New Year, New Me. There Bam, you go. bitches. New background, I, still representing the live, Pittsburgh. I am live from the cool cat room. It is not completely done yet, but there are things. I have a drawer full of Legos. There are cats that may make appearances. Um, I have my Macho Man hoodie. I do not have my robe yet. I need to display it somewhere. There, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot happening. There's a, we I do have my, I have my Lego TARDIS very handy though, in case we need to time travel we're back. Gonna, to we're gonna have to get Pot, was better. We're gonna have to get Potter back on the show to do a uh, a cat off with you. Oh, and um, pop figures will be coming. <laughs> to rival Bobby F J Towns. Excellent. Also with us, Dutters is with us. I went the last three hours of my life back. Oh, no. No. Right now. You can't have them. We're just never going to join us for a Raw again. Never. No. <laughs> no. Yes. In so March. sad. I mean, Feels it was really nice of them to, like, do everything that I hate, so I remind me why I never watched. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if you had, like, a bingo card, you'd have been like, yeah, that, that. Give bingo in every direction. You know, we should actually start doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that probably helps uh, them on the nights a little bit. If you guys want, I can make bingo cards. I'd love that. <laughs> Print them at work. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we'll have to do it like you put a shot glass on each thing. So oh when it happens, God. you just take a shot. And if it happens multiple times in the same Raw, you just keep refilling. Dude, if we turn <laughs> Raw into a drinking game, I'm here every Monday. <laughs> every freaking Monday, and she'll and she'll be she'll be at the hospital every Tuesday morning. It's That's fine. right. It's Larry, well. Larry is here too. Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> it's back. We uh, took we took a hiatus. I need another one. We had it. We had just a mental health take off from the wrap up mm-hmm. and 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 watching Monday with as as much of a stringent you know watch that saying hey we need to talk about this so we need to pay a little bit of attention to it and sometimes that didn't work out either uh let's oh no let's let's all huddle together and mourn the death of our monday night institution uh <laughs> the, the slow slow death and 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 just beating down of it uh but hey we are back and and i want to try to change things up a little bit <laughs> okay uh oh i i want to try to change things up a little bit i wasn't you, briefed on this no you were not briefed on this because okay. like i said i, like I said the, the official name of this is the wrestling man show wrap up a uh wwe raw therapy session so uh instead of how we would usually so show do, us on the action figure where raw hurt you <laughs> show, show us on was the was it your eyes show us was on the your TV. ears show us on the was tv your heart <laughs> I'm just like smashing my doll on the ground at this point. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so I wanted to go around real quick because we do we do watch more than Raw, and a lot of stuff happened, especially this weekend. What was something good from wrestling this week going into Raw? Something that maybe had you exciting going into Raw? I got nothing. Uh, Silence. Uh, <laughs> um, EC3. I like. <laughs> she saw EC3's butt in his yeah, uh, his, 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 his vignette again. His, uh, yeah, his unbuckling of his so. pants. That's right. You got to see it on the big screen with the uh, yep. SmackDown taping yep, recently. That's the third time yeah. I've gotten to see mm-hmm. it in like okay. a week. Okay. Because I time traveled um, last week. Yes. To SmackDown. Yeah. To SmackDown I last year from this year. Yeah. The, the so last I've year. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I have no idea where I'm at. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Larry, what about you? No, this is a shitty week, Sorg. No? I, sl- I slept through Wrestle Kingdom. You did sleep through <laughs> Wrestle Kingdom. Because t- time, you're, you're time the, zones are confusing. You're the you're the bear that slept through Wrestle Kingdom. I did. <laughs> I did. He's Rip Van, Larry. Dude, I, I'm not happy. 
I was I, I was so pissed on Friday when I woke up it. and I saw your Facebook thread for Wrestle Kingdom. Mm-hmm. I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> this oh, is why crazy. I asked when it was. I thought it I would thought it was Friday night I had to be. You there. would think because that's what normal rational people yeah. would no, think. No, 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 yep. no, no. No, it New is. Japan says fuck anyone who Japan works. does yep. not give a crap. Say this happens well, on the fourth. It doesn't matter what day of the well, week that's it the thing, is. is I thought I thought they were on the other side of the timeline, mm-hmm. and it was 3 a.m. on the 4th. <laughs> no. No. Nope. No, no, it's actually, like, on the 4th. On the f- Yeah. On, like, on the 4th, not, like, yeah. On the 4th day of January, <laughs> New Japan gave to me a fuck you to ROH. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Starting off hot, Sorg. Yes. Pew. All Starting right. All hot. right. Again, trying to keep this positive with you guys. What was oh, the? Uh, I, I, oh, go one ahead. You got, you got one. You got a good one. I got my tickets to see NXT in February. Yay! In February. Oh, is it? Uh, is it that like supposed WWE versus NXT one? Supposedly. Like it's. I'm excited. I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. I'm excited though. I I I have communed with lots of wrestling. I caught up entirely on NXT. I'm getting caught up on 205, and I am I'm like mid October. Also, I'm now I'm realizing I need to catch up with uh, NXT UK um, since they have a takeover this weekend. Yeah, yeah. How about that? Surprise! <laughs> Some more time zone um, curious. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, is that like a thing now? Time zone time curious. Zone. Are you interested in some time zone curious you wrestling? Experiments with some time zones. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like? Do you like your super kicks with an accent? <laughs> do you want those knee slaps to be slightly jaunty? <laughs> <laughs> jaunty. Hashtag jaunty knee slaps. Um. <laughs> anyways. No, my good thing for the week is not the tampon video. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on. That's Mr. Sako 2.0. It is. It is. Uh, maybe we'll talk about that more on the show tomorrow. I, I don't hate it. Mm-mm. Again, I, it's just like, ah, it just seems like something on The Gathering. But hold, now, on, but hold on, Mr. Sako, we need a female name for it. Mrs. Uh, M- Mrs. Florence? I, um, Dutter's got it. Yeah. I heard that laugh. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Okay, anyways. <laughs> I forgot I could be inappropriate. This is fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so used to an awesome cast where I have to behave and not swear. You talk about porn every and week. talk about vaginas. Yeah, you do, you do you talk, talk about, about porn. porn every week. I do, I do. I better keep it clean, though. I still manage to with? keep it clean with porn. No. Oh. What? what? I mean, that was Vagina. a lead into Vagina. the segment thing we were just talking about. <laughs> Spending anyway. with time zones? <laughs> yes, time zones. <laughs> questionable, <laughs> questionable time zone tracking. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you just add go- ask Google, Larry. You just ask Google, Google. What time is it here, on whatever date and time, in that country? My Google phone doesn't work like when that. Your Google phone, like no, you actually like, there's a Google app and it does the thing and, and yeah, you're good I, to I'm go. pretty sure Siri does the same thing too. Uh, Siri, Alexa. No, they I, all do I disabled it. Siri. Siri's a mute. Oh no! Oh no! Wow! I was tired. I was tired of. Nope. Accidentally talking to Siri. Uh, Wheels drives home that last joke. Where, yeah. But I'm not <laughs> well, of course he does because far. he's in a wheelchair, Sorg. Oh. <laughs> 2019, guys. It's going to be fun. Uh, Jeez, I, I, I hey, can, I can, you know what? If, if Raw doesn't have to change, neither do we. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a whole new era. I don't it's going to be a whole new I have, era. I have the Katie button on my old button, so I keep getting Katie when I'm talking. So just move your mouth when I'm talking and I accidentally switch to you, please. There you go. It'd, it'd be nice for us to see what was happening. Oh, that didn't. I'm well, that, I'm working. I, I on think that. we're working. Uh, what are we watching here? Some sort of commercial. No, I I actually go back to Temptation, Temptation Island. Island. <laughs> Island sneak preview. Oh, that's right. That was the uh, thing that. That was the good thing of uh, wrestling that we watched last what, week. What Temptation Island? No, oh. we watched we watched Mrs. Mrs. Miss, Miss Miss and Mrs. Mrs. Yes, yeah, yes. that was good. Mrs. and Mrs. is great. It was, was it amazing. was very entertaining. I was under the weather. I was at home. Mrs. Was, dad is over. And I was like, I wonder why my wife's <laughs> oh my not God. here. So I pull up the security camera and see everybody still after SmackDown sitting here watching something. I'm like, oh, they must be watching Mrs. and Mrs. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It was good. Which is a good decision. We couldn't all stop. Around. Nope. Exactly. Those damn time. Zeke Mercer, recent interviewee, uh, debuted on the Indie Mayhem show, says those damn time zones always confusing American uh, New Japan wrestling fans. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be looking for cheap flights to Dallas soon. By now the here's why I want to know: when they do the Dallas show, yes, are they gonna air it at 3 a.m. our time? Yeah, uh, or no, 7 no, no, no. P.m. J- Japan, Japan. It, it'll be, it'll be, th- it'll be like probably 7 p.m. our time. They're not gonna so make the Japanese audience they did watch it for at 3 San Francisco. No, they didn't. Yeah, they. Why didn't they do it? They San Francisco is much closer. San, San yeah, Francisco started at like five in the morning. It's just an extra two hours. <laughs> no one knows when fine. it airs. It'll Time is a relative construct, Sword. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like entertainment. This is like like yeah. pro wrestling. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> anyway, so what was the good of Monday Night Raw tonight? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know this one. I know this one. I know this one. Yes. <laughs> when it ended. Oh, okay. First rule of 2019, that can't be your answer. <laughs> yes, it can. Oh. <laughs> I have one. I love everybody's okay. raising their one. hand, I have by one. the way. I have one. We, we have one. The commercial breaks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you can't tell oh, me that's Popeyes. Good. That's good. Oh, you know what my favorite thing Ooh. was, Sork? Not having a women's segment until after 10 o'clock. Mm. That was my favorite thing. Really? My favorite thing was Brock Lesnar coming out and circling the ring and leaving. That was great. Uh, I, I enjoyed our conversation of what kind of match it was, whether it was a Lumber Jill match or a Lumber Jackets match. Or and then I found the Lumber Jills. And it, like it a turned out to be a Lumber Jackets match. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, I liked, uh, I, I liked, uh, uh, backstage, um, shenanigans. Uh, shenanigans with the last man standing or not last man. Which is it? False count, False count anywhere. anywhere match. That was fun. Yeah, you That's know the, thing the best thing about that is that false count anywhere always ends in the ring. It's funny how that happens. Yeah, magically. It, it's <laughs> stupid how that happens. That's 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 wrestling it's, for you. It no I, no no that's bad wrestling for you. <laughs> you know Dude, what I was just I have I've literally filmed two last man standing matches in the last month. They both did the same thing. I I would be especially angry if I went to that show in <laughs> Orlando. mm Hmm. Because not only did you waste your money mm-hmm. going to the, and like paying for a ticket for that show, and you need so much more money to get into Disney now. No, you could have used the no, same I amount of money Disneyland. to go to Disney. You could have gone to Disney instead. Okay. So not only did you go see a shitty show, you wasted that money, and it was yeah, it was not good for the live crowd because even like well, the, the it wasn't um, good for any crowd. Oh, do you know what the live crowd got to see though that we didn't? What did mm-hmm. they get to see? Uh, they got to see two dark matches of Ooh. Lacey Evans' debut Against and EC3. Lacey <laughs> Evans faced EC3? <laughs> Did he unbuckle oh. his pants? Did he, he get knocked great. out? No, Lacey Evans faced uh, Natty and EC3 faced uh, Kerr Hawkins. Oh, good. Mm. Good. That's so, good. I mean, I'm, you I'm know, real competitive hard fought match. Start off strong. <laughs> Oh, it's a death match. Or a, you know, a death, or a death, been, match, a death match. match. By, if I, I die, nice you mean it's Kong killing Hall. his career? I've been yes, playing a lot of Fire Pro match. lately. Sorry. Can can we can we like make a rule? If Seth Rollins is on screen for over forty five minutes, <laughs> we just don't do a wrap up. <laughs> no, we especially need to to help help. help no, us. no, I I say we don't because. Like I like Seth Rollins. Yes, but I also like pizza. If I eat pizza straight for forty-five minutes, I'm going to not like pizza the rest of the night, and I'm going to not want to talk about pizza. Oh, oh, you've also been to CC's Pizza, I see. <laughs> no, I've been to that fucking place you took me to with the cold cheese and shit. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, fuck that place. No, we're not. Fiori's? Wait, no, Fiori's? No, 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 it was no, Fiori's. No, no, no. no. It was, was Fiori's. It, it was, was it you took him to Fiori's? It was Fiori's because I wouldn't take him to the other place. Uh, the place that shall not be named. Either way, that, that wasn't pizza. It wasn't pizza? That oh, wait, maybe pizza. I did get you that place. I'm betting Wherever, you did. It was one place you took me the first time before we discovered the majesty that is Slice on Broadway. Mm. You okay. took me to this other place. Was, and it was like, No, I bet it was the place near here. Or down there. Yeah, it was right by you. See? Yeah, it's the one down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that place. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> I wanted to murder you. You yeah. can say it. I'll say you it. See, I wanted to murder you. No, we don't give them credit because the other guy sponsored the show. Nope. Yep. yep. Nope. Don't even name and it. and the place and shall not be named. They're too. They, they think they're all all fancy with their cold pizza. Oh, if you want to name them, I'll name them and say no. They're fucking no. Terrible. No. 
Uh, anyways, if Monday you night. Want, if you want food poisoning and shooting out of both ends, go to... At <laughs> <laughs> no, Mike, all I want is your real opinion about Monday Night Raw. Oh, it sucked. Okay. <laughs> Larry, what about you? I'd rather have food poisoning and have it shoot out of both ends. <laughs> <laughs> I would not rather have food poisoning. I'll say yep. that. I'll say food poisoning... <laughs> Slightly less than this week's Raw. I love Matt Clarence is saying that uh, WWE is the CCs of wrestling. Maybe <laughs> a better analogy than it being the Walmart of wrestling. <laughs> thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you. Except for like, the part where they close down all the CCs in your area. CC you later. But, the, but they have a bunch of them in Florida, so that actually does make a lot of sense. But, like, How do they screw this up so bad? Is Hello? it because the college football championship game was on tonight? Maybe. Yeah, and apparently like... Doink the Clown was on it or something from what I saw on Twitter. Um, no, so I, I posed a question tonight, and I think this is an apt question. I think there's a lot of what does Vince, Vince think kind of stuff questions, right? But I, I am curious. Do you think Vince McMahon thinks this is a bad show? I don't think he cares. Nope. Is that, are we just beyond it at this point? Yeah, he doesn't give a shit. Okay. He's worried about the XFL. Kind of, it, it, it's on a different level. It's like a, I'd a, be worried about the XFL also if I was Vince kind McMahon. Of whether whether Raw is actually an enjoyable show is above is below his pay grade. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not at the end of the day, it's not his responsibility. Plus, he, has, he has to worry about the hundred million dollars he just flushed down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, any other company, it would be below his pay grade. Mm-hmm. But he's at all the like. Pretty much all the shows, yeah. right? He was he does all the wrong. He was I don't think he's at He was on I'm, SmackDown. Yeah, I'm convinced yeah. he's not at any SmackDowns. He was. He was at SmackDown last week. Yeah, backstage. Did what? It? Yeah, backstage. No, he he was at SmackDown. He didn't. Make was he on, Was he in the ring? Uh, no. no. Yeah, exactly. He went to one show. Taped five segments. No. <laughs> oh, I don't know if they're doing that necessarily. No, he, he was at SmackDown. <laughs> in Pittsburgh, confirmed visual sighting. Well, he yeah. Was, he was, he was like, at SmackDown in But he Pittsburgh. wasn't on camera. That's the difference. Yeah, but he wasn't. No, but he was, he su- he was the there ring. to supervise and stuff. Lurk. Lurk? No, Jay but Lurk. Like, uh, <laughs> billionaire Lurk? It doesn't Lurk? matter. It doesn't matter whether he enjoys the show or not. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Doesn't matter whether the fans enjoy the show or not. <laughs> then who are we writing this show for? Nobody. Nobody? <laughs> Literally nobody wanted to watch this show. <laughs> Jeez. I bet Road Dog like, was off. Road, Road Dog, yeah. He took a he took a day off. Well he's been he's been SmackDown. Is he still on SmackDown? Because SmackDown's still rolling. He's on both, I think. I'm sorry, sad faces out there. <laughs> Aww. There, was, there, was, there, had, there there's been a, a McMahon on TV every week. Well, uh, Triple H does not count as a McMahon. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Triple H is not a McMahon. He's married in. I mean, y- yeah, but um, no one changed their names. <laughs> that is, sh- it, it's not like he went. It's not like he signs his emails as Paul McMahon, as if I'd have access to his emails. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mike, uh, or, I'm sorry, Matt. Matt Carlos is saying Vince is also involved in everything you love about SmackDown. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> I don't believe that's true because there's no way one man can go from doing something that's really great one day to being a giant fuck up the day before. Is there? Is it possible? I and mean, I, I like publicly. I'm not talking about any connections anybody has that may be on. The internet or in person uh, right now. Um, no idea what you're talking about. Is there any like public way to know the 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 the, the structure of production at a WWE show? Because I'm really curious about that. I about how personally, that works. I don't think Vince has ever cared about SmackDown. Okay. Personally, I don't think he like. That's once why. The Ro- once the Rock left, I don't think he ever cared about SmackDown. Here's a new poll. We need to throw this poll out there. If it, those trips totally count as a McMahon these days. No, he doesn't. Uh, I guess there's some debate out there. But, um, yeah, there has been a McMahon on TV every week. Um, but w- who cares? They're not doing anything. Well, they're pushing storylines. Like, if, if I mean, if what? they're there, I would not say, yeah. Go ahead, Larry. Maybe they can tell us what the women's tag team ter- titles are going to be like. Like, how are we going to determine that? No, we'll just mention it two weeks ago in a drunken 
fueled beard rage, and it's like it was like mumbled through and yada yada, and we haven't talked about it since. Larry, you had a oh contention with a you mechanism. Said they were, you said they were pushing storyline. Okay. No. No. They are on SmackDown. Listen, man, we have the idea that that uh, uh, Shane may be wearing Miz getup in the near future. No, you know what's going to happen. Hmm. They're going to dress in drag and win the women's tag team title. I think it'd be funnier if um, if if Miz comes out in an ill-fitting jersey and sweatpants. And Miz wears a tank top uh, jersey that... Because their team, you know what their team is going to be called, right? What? Shane O'Miz. Ooh, I like that. It's not bad. It's pretty bad. I mean, it's... it's oh, no, it's, it's terrible. It's, it's bad. That's, bad. That's what it's going to be called. It's great that it's that bad, is what I mean. Right? <laughs> Alex says, next Raw, I'm watching high. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in the right state for that, I guess. Um, let me, like, seriously, let us know if that's a beneficial effect. Um, I think I'm going to start booting up Fire Pro Wrestling while I'm watching Raw and see how that goes. Uh, next week, I'm bringing my Switch. Oh, yeah? I'm, ju- I'm just going to pull up Smash Brothers. Every time there's a match I don't like, I'm <laughs> going to simulate it on Smash Brothers. And then and then instead of like how much of Raw was watchable, it's how much Smash Brothers did you play this week? Oh, Ooh. so much. <laughs> <laughs> how good are you at Smash Brothers after tonight? <laughs> I actually made um, a Brock Lesnar-type character on Smash Brothers. Wait, there's a customizable thingy there? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Me, brawlers. Like, there's literally a German suplex move. That's good. That's yes. Good. Where you just rush in and German suplex someone, and I'm like, suplex city, bitch. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. On that note, mm-hmm. since I took the other thing away, I don't have an ending to this show. So well, well, hold on. We we actually didn't talk about what happened on Raw. <laughs> I know. I was like, let's see how far into the show we can get before we even talk about things that happened, like all right, Hulk Hogan. Uh, biggest like, issues. Like, oh, like we should actually so, mention what happened on so, said show. So, daughters, how about Hulk Hogan? Oh God, why did you have to start with that? Poop everywhere. It's why I'm my new athlete page. Poop. <laughs> she literally made it. You can follow page. her at poop. <laughs> <laughs> poop. Did you get at poop? That'd be amazing. That'd be a, no, I don't think I'm that cool. At poop, poop. app. At poop athlete. Poop. I should look. Poop athlete. Get it verified. <laughs> I have to send a picture <laughs> and ID. Just, just send a photo <laughs> of a toilet. <laughs> I wish. I wish during that whole segment they would have just had a camera on, just like backstage, and everybody just shitting their pants, listening, like waiting to see what he was gonna say next. Like what? What? Uh, well, I guess he keeps going. Oh, Why is he still honestly, talking? Ah. Honestly, it was a very nice mm-hmm. tribute to Gene. Mm-hmm. It was a very nice tribute. It did not need to be from him. No. Nope. Speaking of a McMahon on every show, it could have just as easily been from Vince McMahon mm-hmm. or from Ric Flair. That would have been great if it was Ric Flair, to be honest. Yes. Mm-hmm. It would have been fantastic if it was Ric Flair because Ric, you know, also is known for a lot of memorable Mean Gene promos. Mm-hmm, with a tear in his eye. Exactly. Put that cigarette out. Yes. <laughs> I have seen or heard that so many times just this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's been great. Um, Matt is saying, saying that the uh, Hogan segment killed the whole show for him. Nothing else mattered, and he wants to thank Orlando for being a bunch of fucking marks. Well, yeah. to be fair, they weren't given much to work with. Yeah, no. no. I don't. I don't blame that crowd at all. They got John Cena in a six-man tag that ultimately meant nothing. No, no. Which which led to more of it. It led to an Eric and title match during the last half hour of the show that ultimately meant nothing. I and 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 I always kind of counter that because I always I can't like the good Raws back in the day. I remember just like, hey, there's going to be a title match. You know how this is going to go, guys. But but sword sword. Here's the thing. We've All been right. doing it for twenty years. Well, no, I, I I was I was thinking about this during during our time off. Um, a lot of introspection, a lot of lot uh, of off yeah. time introspection about professional wrestling and podcasting. Yeah, okay. and I was thinking about the differences between Raw and SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. If I take almost any character on SmackDown, and I look at their twenty eighteen, and I say, what was their character arc? 
a lot of them I have a really good answer for. Mm -hmm. Try to do that with Roth. Mm. No, no, literally try. No, no, I'm like, with you. There's like, not much. Like Dolph Ziggler. Hmm. Drew McIntyre. Seth Rollins. Ronda Rousey. Can you name character arcs for any of them? The only person that had a character arc was Roman Reigns, and then he got leukemia. Like, <laughs> it was kind of like a reverse fault in our stars. Oh, okay. Or, or like a walk to remember, or one of I'm, those. I'm, I'm with you. Like, like, yeah, we're being yelled at week in, week in, and week out about how important certain things that happened were. Like, uh, like certain things were happening in the last match, just like what happened when he turned on them or something. I was like, I can't even yeah. remember. I can't even remember. Yeah, but like, like if you go to SmackDown, like Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan returned to the ring, ultimately got showed up by the Miz a lot to the point where he turned heel and won the championship by mm -hmm. being exactly like what the Miz said he was going to be. That's a character arc. Mm -hmm. <laughs> AJ Styles. Dominant champion for the whole for most of 2018, fended off a lot of his like strong rivals, and then ultimately lost the belt. And now he needs to get his edge back. Mm -hmm. Like Becky Lynch, that that one's obvious. Oscar also obvious. Charlotte, less obvious, but still like something. For so Sasha Banks went to or, therapy and oh. is in tag teams. Yeah, Ugh. but like for even Carmella. Carmella was better booked than any woman on Raw this year. Oof. Hey, yeah. <coughs> yeah. And she went from champion to dancer. Yeah. And now, guess what? She still has a shot to be champion. Yeah. She's got a triple threat she, match this week. You can be the goofy five-second dance person with our truth and not be joking damaged by that. And it, yep. it just there's, there's a whole different philosophy, and it's interesting from... One night to the next. Yeah. Kurt Angle, when he was wearing tiny cowboy hats, was going for the WWE Championship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let, let us never forget that. Let, let never forget the tiny cowboy hats. Um, I, I I have a production question. Oh, God. A hypothetical. Okay. How does a, a you know, one of the top production um, groups in, like, you know, I'd say everywhere, anywhere that they do a live production every week, right? Decide mm -hmm. to have a cons a persistent split screen with Braun Strowman looking the worst on mic that he ever has. He was mouthing words at some point. I don't that's know if that was him remembering his lines. He forgot his lines. Sorg, that's because he doesn't have anything to talk about. <laughs> yeah. We talk he, about he no, has a match no. with Brock Lesnar. <laughs> But he's been punked out by Lesnar twice. Yeah. Like, if this were Braun Strowman from, like, mid-June, when Brock Lesnar was standing there, Braun Strowman would have just gone to the back, found a fucking grappling hook, and thrown it around Brock's neck. Yeah, basically. And, no, he's just standing I, there. I didn't even I care. have a feeling Braun's still a little injured. I wouldn't even care if they, he would have gone in the ring and they brawl. I'd be like, well, here we go again. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't um, have cared either. Brandon is pointing this out, and, and Mike, this had to this had to ring with you. Uh, he likes how Cena said that he left wrestling for a while because he kept getting the same promos from the other wrestlers. It's true. But then, of course, Cena came back and said, we come to Raw and you earn things. And then he just said, yeah, I'm in the Rumble. Like, why, why in the opening segment during the pull-apart, when Kurt Hawkins was on camera, like trying to pull apart Lashley and Rollins, why didn't he just yell into the camera, I declare myself for the Royal Rumble? Like, that's all you have to do. Kurt Hawkins can't go to the Royal Rumble. Come no, on. Well, no, mean, literally. Man. You know what? Sorg, Larry, Dudders, yes. mm -hmm. I declare myself for the 2019 Royal Rumble. Well, you have yes. a better chance than anyone. <laughs> I No, I declare it. That's how you get a spot. I declare uh... myself. I declare myself. That's it. I I'm in. I de de I'm in the Rumble. I declare myself. Sorry, I'm going to WrestleMania. I declare myself a pick in the first round of Mayhem Mania. I declare myself a pick in the last round of Mayhem Mania. Oh! No. I declare myself winner of Mayhem. Mania. Of wait, there's not. A, there's no. I mean, there's no. I am winners. the grand champion. Back I, off. I mean, there's kind of a lot of losers, but I'm I don't know. 
You're not one of There's them. There's a lot yeah. of losers. A lot of yes. losers. A lot There's of losers. A lot of, I started. You know, I usually don't do this. I actually started considering my first matches for. Oh, I did too. Oh there, my gosh. I, sorry, I never gonna, have. There's going to be 58 losers this year. 58 losers? Oh, because because there's two Royal Rumbles. Yeah. Oh, oh and Sorg, I have my first match for Mayhem Mania. Mm-hmm. I showed I sh- I put it in the Slack my piece of paper that yes, I wrote did. back in June. Yes, you did. Oh man, I, mean, I need to print out the sign so we can point. When, that when out are we right starting now. this? When are we starting um, Mayhem Mania? Oh, it's on the calendar. It's in like two weeks. Yes. All right, I I'm declare excited. we need to end this therapy session. Wait, what? Sasha Banks gets a match against Ronda Rousey. Right. That is a good thing. Okay. It, uh, as long yeah. as mm-hmm. as long as Ronda does not cry through the match. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. Someone needs to teach Ronda how to have a match with a face. Give me a reason. You got like two weeks to make me care about this. And um, I can't. Like Sasha has to put in some work to make this work. Sasha's gonna make Ronda look amazing. I hope. I hope. Because Sasha almost killed herself trying to make La- Nia Jax look good. Mm-hmm. That takes some work. Mm-hmm. That Hurricane Ronda to the apron that made zero sense. <laughs> nope. Like. Uh, yep. Nia took yeah, and Matt, Matt Carlin football. says our Mayhem Mania card is going to crush WWE. Th- and that's that's a fact. Matt, I think we should up it to 12 matches this year on mm. the... On, no, no, on, on the Super card. On the Super card. Well, I we have we to. So they, they added a uh, women's tag division, so... Yeah, it is true. We got more belts. More belts. Yeah, more I mean, t- they have seven hours to feed on, on WrestleMania. We... Only stick to a ten match card. Hey, I mean, even Wrestle Kingdom went shorter this year, so exactly. All right. On that note, uh, Dutters, thank you for joining us. Hey, no problem. Even if you don't join us for the rest of the year after this, oh, after if this it's experience. a drinking game, I'll be back. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try. Dutters, to come back. There will be cats. I, hey, I'm hey, in. hey. <laughs> Russell, the Wrestle Cat. Yay! I, I will. I will bring uh, alcohol next Monday. Next Monday. <laughs> and. <laughs> Bring, there's, Mike's bring, getting, there's still some in the fridge. Mike's, Ooh. Mike's get, well, it's not gluten free. Oh, yeah, I can but <laughs> Mike's gonna oh, get the. You bi- act like I won't have alcohol. Mike's here. gonna bring the, the <laughs> you're gonna bring the uh, bingo cards though, right? Yeah, we. I'll, I'll buy some dabbers, like the little yeah. dabbers. This will be good. I, it, it, you know, I, th- I want to figure out how to make Mondays fun again, whether it be raw bingo or we watch something else beside raw. Or, or something else. We could let's just let's just start Lucha from the beginning. There she she hasn't watched wrestling in almost <coughs> eight months. I don't know how long it's been. It's been a while. She needs to do a two truths and a lie. <laughs> you could just make anything up. Uh, two truths and a lie from 2018. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Like um, you've been on the fringe of it though. No, from I don't just be- being around. No, us. No, right? I don't. I don't pay attention to any of you. No, no. <laughs> she she blocks us all out. Yeah, I can't hear you. You sound like a bunch of. By the way, I do like that your shirt matches Mad Mike's background. You got a little we? Optimus hanging uh, out. Back wait, there. does we're my tra- shirt match her background? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, we're, we're no, no. But you're Transformer okay. buddies right now. We're Transformer buddies. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, yeah. I've I have my Transformers in the back. Yay! Yep. Bumblebee. Thing. Bumblebee, Optimus. The, the whole gang's here. I got my undisputed title. Nice. And it's got the Mayhem logo, like, right in On the it, middle of perfect. it. So it actually looks like a Mayhem championship. Nice. So I got to check that back on the feedback. Dutters, where can people find you online? Oh, please don't find me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. Maybe no, 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 no. Too good no, no. Hey. hammers. Push She's your new the Big E approach on Up Down Down. Push your new athlete page. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're new. Pe- I just hit it. It was really funny. I didn't realize it was published. I was like, oh, we should remove that because people will find it. I, and, and find you attached to it. Yeah. It'll be like, who's this new athlete you're managing? Poop. Poop. <laughs> They're the shit. They are the shit. Not that, not that other athlete we were talking about. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. So, nope. so Darius, would you say that's your number two account? <laughs> Who does not know? Get it? Because of poop. Larry, hey. where can people find you online and things that you do? Uh, darkforgestudios.co. Is there anything on there yet? Nope. 
No. <laughs> well, on the website, but yeah, yeah, we gotta show some stuff off, man. But yeah, I'll get around to it. Get around I'll do. I'll, you know what? That'll be my Monday. I'll look look for my stuff on Mondays around eight o'clock, between eight and eleven. Do you notice? How I much will be posting everything. Did this, do you notice how much stuff I post and and from our accounts? No, <laughs> no. on Mondays. <laughs> no, I don't. During RAW, that's how I get caught up. Absolutely, Mad Mike four eighty three in the Twitters as well. Yes, uh, I tweet about wrestling and things and stuff and things. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Perfect. At Sorgatron yeah. on the Twitter. Producer Missy. But she's hanging out back there. Not so We got a wave. Hey, we wave. did get a wave. I feel special now. That's because I'm here. And she Hi, didn't Missy. throw anything. Yes, that's a lot more pleasant. Thank you, everybody. We will be back at 9 p.m. Eastern time for the Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, Tuesday. And it's our birthday, Sorg. It's, birthday. it's our birthday. It's the Woo! 13th, 14th birthday of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We're so legal in Hawaii. We're legal. What? what? Legal for what? Yes. What? 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 Wait, what? 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 No, have you ever read The Rock's book? No. It, oh, what? oh, illegal. Like, is that the age of consent? Yep. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> you can fuck us in Hawaii, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, if you're taking us to Hawaii. <laughs> I think that's what we just implied, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. thank Only you. Only in Hawaii. Everywhere else, it's really gross. Yeah, I just, I just started remembering. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Everywhere else, it's really, really uncalled for. And, and also, if you're in Hawaii, where we're Hashtag legal. James Ellsworth. Less... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I broke Sorg. Okay. Yay. Okay. First time I broke Sorg in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting, we're getting wow faces in the chat. That's, that's good. That's all, folks. Thank you, everybody. And Larry didn't even say his off-color thing, but uh, that's, but that's for your imagination now. Oh, uh, it had nothing to do with that, just to clarify. What? <laughs> I, I just want to clarify my off-color thing had nothing to do with Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> it or, was not that bad or did it we'll see you guys what you next gonna do brother uh, so we'll see you guys next time um don't, just don't keep it raw just stay safe out there guys just practice make safe. good choices practice pl make good choices practice, practice safe time zones practice safe time zones and safe safe wrestling watching uh we'll see you we'll see you later just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.